Yo, what up YouTube? CC here today from MaddenTurf.com and we're going over the Audibles Part 1 for Gun Trips to End Flex out of the Houston Texans playbook. Uh, this is a little mini scheme we're putting together for you guys uh, that is, you know, we're using Houston. Our latest guide is on Houston, so if you guys want to go check out the full guide, please do go check it out. Uh, but for this part, we are going to be covering the first two Audibles, which are Stick and Inside Zone. Uh, one thing to keep in mind with stick, right? So let's go over the adjustments I'm going to make every time, and I'm going to slant the tight end. You can do whatever you want with the running back. Uh, you can block him, you can streak him, whatever it is that you want, feel free to do it. He's not really anywhere in the top of our read progression, so he's probably never getting the ball, right? Uh, but this is what the play is going to look like. We use stick, and you want to use it two to three times a game backs, right? If you happen to abuse it too much, it is an easier play for someone to use her. Uh, but it's a great mix and play when you need that quick strike first down. right? Not a quick strike touchdown, a quick strike first down. And it works out so well for that. Now one thing to keep in mind is that the B receiver, he's on an option route. If he is manned up by anyone on the field, he's going to run that out route. If he is not manned up and someone is, you know, like I said, just not manned up, but essentially someone's playing zone, he's going to run that little spot route. And that's what you're going to throw. And it's a very, very, very quick pass. The reason we have the tight end on the slant there coming across is A, if someone's user flies down to the left, it opens up the middle of the field for us. But also, in man coverage sometimes, that little baby out route on the uh, the on the option route doesn't get super open. Uh, so we need some other routes uh, to, you know, to cover ourselves just in case we made a bad pre-snap judgment. Uh you additionally do have the flat route there from Y. He's not someone you're going to be throwing too much. You may only throw to him once out of every three or four games, really. Uh, but, you know, it's there. Uh, so we're going to go through this over and over and over. And you guys can just sort of see what happens. Uh, my first read is always B. that I'm going to th snap back to the tight end really quickly. Like I said, this is something that I'm just going for a quick quick easy read here to pick up a few yards i'm not trying to get a touchdown uh i literally just want to pick up these yards right here look there's 10 yards there's 10 yards that's what you're going to see a lot with this but again don't abuse this if you abuse this it does make it a lot easier for someone's user to just go shoot down when they happen to see it right uh what works well for us is that the most of the routes that someone is going to be looking at do look very similar to halfback angle. So they can't necessarily just sit over here and jump down because if they start to jump down and you're running something else, maybe it's verticals, uh, you're, you're going to put them in a bad spot. But look at that little spot route, the little option route, just does so well. It's so underrated. This is... Uh, I don't want to sound like route combo here, but this is the best stick in the game. It's the best stick in the game. It has been for a couple of years, honestly. Um, you can use this play. is underutilized. Use it more. Use it more. It's so hard to defend when you don't know it's coming. It's almost impossible to stop the first time. It's almost impossible to stop. Because it just gets open. It just gets open, right? The linebacker played that very well there. Kudos to him. Uh, but again, look, I mean, stick is great, right? Practice stick. Just go into practice mode. Do what I'm doing here and just practice stick. But next I want to cover the run audible that we have is inside zone. Uh, this is a, it's a good inside zone. You're, you're, you're talking a lot more along the lines of uh, a three to five yard gain than a home run. Uh, but this can hit home runs for you occasionally. You saw it did there. Uh, but just because this is such a good passing formation, it does allow you, you know, to hit people with a run randomly when they're not expecting it. And you can pick up, I mean, you could pick up big yards with this. Like, it's its its a good run. It's a very good inside zone. I don't know if it's the best in the game this year. Uh, I think last year it was. Uh, but the blocking's a little different. And what you need to really practice with this inside zone is picking your gap, right? Uh, 
and that's the key to any inside zone. You're not necessarily going off tackle. A lot of times you may be going up the B gap, you may be going up the A gap. It really just depends where someone's user is trying to shoot, uh, and you have to make that determination. You know, if you get a quick block shot like that, you're kind of screwed, but that is the name of the game. Uh, but these are the two audibles, and out of all four audibles, when audibling in this formation, I'm going to these two the most. I would say 75% of the time my audibles are into these two. Easily. Easily. Uh, because they're both very helpful for picking up a few yards. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this set, I will come back and I will cover verticals and PA crossers in a separate video for you. Uh, but until next time, I'm CC. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please head over to MaddenTurf.com. Check out our new Houston Texan offense, where you can also find uh, you know, some good complimentary plays. And I will see you guys on the sticks. I'm out. Peace.